Hey turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at what happens when my pond floods because we just had a tropical storm roll through and the water level is very high. And we're also gonna go inside and feed some of the hatchling and juvenile turtles that I have. Ooh, there's Pancake, who's basking. Hi buddy. Just kidding, he just climbed off of the log. Sorry bud. Also, my little cousins are coming and so I'm gonna give them a tour of the whole operation of things that I have going on here. So I figure as I walk through and feed all the turtles, I will also film some of it so there will be little voices in the background. Now before we get started with today's video, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing here and you want to help contribute and get behind the scenes access to everything that I have going on here, including behind the scenes videos, videos a day early, discounts on merch, turtles when I have them available, hit the link right up over here and head over to my Patreon. Over there you get direct access to all of that fun stuff that I mentioned and to me. Also you get to join a list of lovely people and yeah it's just a blast over there. Also if you enjoy wearing shirts, I have merch, you can hit the link over there it'll be in the description it'll be everywhere anyway let's go look at the turts i'm also experimenting with something kind of fun in this tank i think that i need to get some live plants that way it absorbs a lot of the nitrates because i have to do water changes now but that filter is not doing anything i've been meaning to clean it out for the past like a week and a half and i literally just haven't because for some reason it like popped up above water while i was gone for two days but i think that the oxygenation like the little air bubbler that i have is like doing a lot to keep everything in this tank like moving and keep the water circulating and whatnot so i'm having a feeling that if i get some live plants in here that i will not actually end up needing a filter because look all my fish are happy and healthy and the turtles are too oh this is this is done oh no oh no it's gonna overfill and it is very sad to say that today marks 10 weeks since bean escaped and presumably laid eggs last night was the tropical storm and today i just checked and there are no babies outside so unfortunately we're just gonna have to to go a year without bean babies and I'm just gonna have to keep taking care of these little monsters. I'm really not that stressed about it though and I really searched everywhere back in those like woods. It's like a very densely planted little forest there so I knew that the odds were very low. I was hoping I would at least be able to find one but there's no guarantee that anything even hatched. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm glad that Pancake is doing better so at least him and her can link up and they can produce another round of babies for next year because I'm patient. Okay we're all done. Blondie needs a little extra because she's special. Come here, waffle. I know. Okay, okay. And those two are still not done eating. Good. Come here, little one. It's feeding time. Come on, little butter. Come on, there's a pellet right here. Oh, no, nope. you're gonna go for that one. Can I focus on you before you get it? Of course not. <laughs> there she got it. I need to crush this Missouri into smaller pieces rather than just pre-softening the pellets, I think, because they're definitely not able to bust it up as easily as I thought that they could. Peanut, you got something, love. There she's going. There she goes. Now that is an Aquamax pellet, which will definitely break up really easily. The Missouri seem to have a very hard center, so they're a little bit more difficult to break and chew into little pieces. Here we go. Yay, little Butter is now getting way more comfortable coming to the front of the tank. Peanut always was, but Butter usually hangs out in the back. So I'm very happy that they're getting more comfortable with me. Especially the fish too. I mean, I also like the fish. I'm a big fan that they're also coming over. Maybe I'll get some like neon tetras or something cool in this tank. Look at her go. There we go. This is nice and in focus. Sometimes it's difficult because of the glare in the tank. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Okay, it seems like the fish like the Hikari pellet way more than the turtles do. Wow, I think it's because there's a little bit of garlic in there that flavors it. I think that's why the fish really, really are going to town on that. There's little butter there. And here comes little peanut right through. Where is she? There she goes, right under those plants. Intruders. Go get them, Louie. Go get them, eat them, eat them. Go, 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 eat them. Good. It flooded last night. So this is like basically the pond at like beyond maximum maximum capacity. I can't speak English. We're just feeding the turks and the fish. Uh, but when the pond floods like this, when it rains like way too much, nothing really happens. The water just kind of spills up and over. So we're like the plastic right here is the liner and see it like this, like that is leaking and coming out, but it doesn't matter because there shouldn't be this much water in here anyway. So it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, so all the plants, just kind of the lily pads just like break up to the surface because lily pads are really good at growing and like they have to stay on the surface of the water otherwise they get mad and die. All the turtles are fine. They just hunker down during the storm. Come here, crush. They're like 
they're totally good. And that's it. It's the, like when it floods, it seems like everything is awful. But when, when it's rainwater, it doesn't have any chemicals or nastiness in it like tap water does. So it's fine. It just overflows. This waterfall is normally not like two freaking four inches from here to here. And that's it. It just, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Some people in their skimmer, they'll put an overflow and like send the water out somewhere else. But I'm cheap and lazy. So I didn't do that. I just let it overflow and I don't care. You want to bite me? Don't bite me. You don't bite me either. Hello. When you starting your vid? When am I what my vid? When are you starting your vid? Right now. Nice. It's been started. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, over here we have the spotted turtle. They're native like all the way up in Jersey, like in the forest. Yeah, they're a threatened yeah. species, so they're kind of on their way out, unfortunately. The other one's coming out? Yeah, there he is. He'll just like jump in the water and go for the food. So this is what I mean when I say they're not good swimmers. And this is why I have, see, he finally just broke the surface after all of that. But that's why I have like that ramp there. That's why I have all the plants and like the roots and whatnot. So that way he can uh, get, up. get up and out. Because they will drown. Like they're known to drown, which is weird because you think turtles live in water. How can they drown? But in the wild, they don't have straight vertical plastic surfaces that they can't climb up. So these guys are also on their way out in the wild. So he's a box turtle, but a Chinese box turtle. So native to China. They're a very outgoing species. It's just the fact that I have him outdoors that he's a little bit uh, shy. And thus the tour group is leaving. We're, we, we, we do tours now. I charge only $24.99 per person. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's just my cousin and his friends. But yeah, so basically if I didn't reiterate enough, when it floods, when the pond floods, I there's nothing I do. It just overflows out of the pond. Some people have a dedicated pipe in the skimmer that like runs out into the yard. I do not. I literally just let it flood and over a couple days that will just drain back down. As long as I have a head count of all the fish and all of the turtles, it's really not a problem. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something and I'll see y'all in the next one.